Good, Good morning. morning. It's Tuesday morning, February 9th, and today we're talking about a God-given blessing from 2 Corinthians 5.21. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for today. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you that you love us so much that you gave your son. What a gift. God, we thank you for your grace and for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for uh, your word that we can stand on. When everything else might be shaky, your word stands firm. Use us today, Lord, to further your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, talking about a God-given blessing. Good morning, Steve. Good to see you on this morning. It says, I experienced so much pain as a child that I th thought that there was something wrong with me. I also thought that if I could be good enough and do enough good things, then perhaps I could compensate for the things that were obviously wrong with me. When I brought that thinking into my relationship with God, I tried to perform for his acceptance, but that wasn't necessary. Through Jesus, God had already made me what I was trying to become, righteous. Isn't it comforting to know that our righteousness is found in Christ alone and that there is nothing we need to do to earn it? Being saved is a gift, not a reward we received based on our performance. In a word, salvation is grace. It is an unearned, undeserved, unmerited, God-given blessing. It took a long time for that truth to sink deep into my heart and soul. But when it did, it brought such freedom into my life. I could relax, rest, and just receive his unconditional love. If Jesus is your Savior, he has made you righteous. Thank you, God, for making me righteous. There is nothing I can do to earn any more of your love than I already have. I am pure, good, and worthy because of you. Amen. Amen. I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> Amen. Me too. And we don't have to be... Um, perfect. We don't have to be per, pure and clean and, and um, good. I don't know for God to accept us, but he accept us, accepts us as we are. Yeah, but he makes us all of those things through Christ. Right. So it's, it's nothing we have to do. It's, it's something we have to be pure, clean, and all of that, but God does it through Jesus. It's nothing we have to do to to earn that, to, right. to work for that. But it is by grace, like Ephesians 2, 8, 9 talks about. It's by grace that we are saved. So it's so, it's so awesome. It's freeing. Yes, it because, is. Because, you know, we could wear ourselves down trying to do, 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 do yeah. for God's acceptance. And uh, when we let God do what he wants to do in us, then we can do so much more. That's what stirs so much love, too, because when we realize that it's something we can't do that he does for us, it's kind of like you as a parent. If you're a parent and your child can't do something and you do it for your child, then there's hopefully a lot more thankfulness in that because they see that, that you love them through that, something that they can't do for themselves and you can do it. And that's, that's how God is for us. There's no way we could have paid that price, and God did it for us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, to, to understand that, just like the author talked about, you know, it's, it is so freeing. And it stirs me because I think of, you know, there's different religions out there, different, different ones out there that think they have to earn, whether they are knocking on doors or talking to a certain amount of people or whatever it is. And evangelism is important. You know, and sharing Christ, but just doing it through your life and and living every day and, and talking to people about Jesus. But it's nothing we have to do to earn our salvation or earn our way into heaven. So God's love is so great. I think in, in this world, there are so many, um, it feels like competitions. Yeah. I'm, I'm not as good as them or I'm not as bad as them. I'm, you know, we compare and we're all God's children. Amen. We don't we don't have to do the same things that our missionary friends do 
we are, we're here in Valley City and we are being used by God to reach the lost here. And that's, you know, it's all because of God. Yeah. Amen. So. And it's that unity that comes in Christ. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not definitely not an all roads lead to God type thing, but Paul talks about it many times and so do others that he talks about the unity we find in Christ, a faith that unites us in Christ because mm -hmm. it's through Christ alone that we are saved and by his name only that we are saved. Yeah. So, But such a God-given blessing as she's entitled this today, you know, God made him, Jesus, who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Yes. What an awesome gift. Without so. Jesus, it wouldn't be possible. No, nope. it wouldn't. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you, God, for the blessing that you've given to us. Thank you for the righteousness that you give to us that we can't earn, but, Lord, that you've given to us as a gift. Thank you that through faith, by grace, that we can just receive that, that you've given to us. And pray that you free us even more and more all the time, That knowing that we don't have to earn it, we don't have to work for it, but just receiving that gift and walking in that and and we know that through that through the receiving of the gift that God you change us so Lord free people from that thought that they have to earn it that they're not good enough and uh, just bless our day today on this Tuesday uh, we love you and we thank you and we ask it in Jesus name amen. amen amen good to be with you guys today on this Tuesday Remember, keep looking up. Keep your eyes on Jesus. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. He's the one that gives us strength for the day and helps us, encourages us. God bless you. Have a great day.